Yes, yes, yes. Woo! We're playing 60 FPS GTA 5 MacBook Pro. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, this is the way we roll, baby. Playing GTA 5 off my MacBook Pro. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Um, yes, the gaming review of the MacBook Pro 13. We're going to game in Windows. We're going to game in Mac OS. I'm going to hook up an eGPU, and we'll see how we go there. So this is the ultimate gaming review of the MacBook Pro 13, the new one. This one here comes with the Ice Lake CPU, so the i5 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is the latest one with the 10th generation CPUs and the iris plus graphics of course can you hear the system you may be able to hear that but oh, i'll tell you what it's a lot better than the gaming laptop in terms of noise i'll give you the tip now when you actually game on this macbook pro you have to go into the settings and fiddle about i'll give you a little bit of a pro tip okay pro tip is to start off at 720p low settings that's where you start off 720p low settings and then see how you go there. Now that is with AAA titles, and one setting can mean the difference between uh, 10 frames per second more or less. So one little setting. So there's no going in and just saying, oh, set it on low or medium and 720, and yeah, see how you go. You gotta fiddle about, that's the one thing. Let's get into it and see how it games. All right, all right, all right. Here we are in the bang bus. Let's jump out, baby. Golden man, I'm golden man today. And we are pushing over 60 FPS. Now I've changed the render resolution down to 60. And we're playing at medium settings and all the rest at low. And getting an easy 60 FPS on this now. You might not be able to see it, but I can guarantee you. We're doing over 60 FPS. Still looks good. Obviously 70% render resolution looked a bit better. But this still looks good. And it reminds me of a console. It always does when the resolution's lower, you know, PlayStation 3 or something like that, you know. It's good. It's playable. It's 70 FPS now. And, yeah, this resolution is a 16 by 10 resolution. It's by 800 or something like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. The noise isn't that bad. The keyboard, a little bit of warmth in it. Just around where my finger is there well I'm gonna get shot very quickly but yeah Fortnite definitely playable no problems there let's get into some other games right so we're playing whoa so we're playing now um what do we play CSGO that's the one we're doing 60 fps very playable it's around 720p oh hello oh no it's hard to play with a trackpad I'll give you the tip and oh 75 frames well this guy how bad is he if he's playing with a mouse he's going to be the worst player in the world <laughs> all right so anyway we're doing easily 70 frames you know 50 to 70 frames per second yeah csgo is very playable on this no problems there and the sound and heat yeah it's fine seems fine 40 FPS there, just depends where you are on the map, I guess. But anyway, CSGO is a go. Okay, now you can see Civilization 6 here. We're playing at 960p, very playable. And the good thing about this is very silent playing this game. So you can imagine, you know, the more mobile games are going to be excellent to play on this because it's going to be quiet. Awesome, I love it. All right, so now we're playing PUBG and... I don't think I've ever played PUBG on Iris Plus, so they must have done some work because before it was totally unplayable and I'm talking about on other laptops I've reviewed. And this, this is very playable, 720p. Okay, well, we had a little bit of a frame dip there, didn't we? We went down to the 30s, 35, something like that. But yeah, we're getting here about 45 and the fans are working on this, I'll tell you. They are working a bit more on this. Now, of course, this is first-person shooter, so, yeah, you want as high of frames as you can get. And for competitive gaming, but if you're just mucking about and you just want to play a few games, you can do it. You know, you're getting 50 FPS on this. You can see the frame times there. That's the graph. Yeah, it's not linear. It's not flat. That's usually what you want. But, um, you know, what do you want for integrated graphics? You can still play. You're still going to have fun. 
And yeah, it's good good times, good times to be had. And we'll have to see if Witcher can play on this. <laughs> That'll be amazing if Witcher plays on this. Fortnite will probably perform better on Windows than it does on Mac OS. So yeah, that is what it's worth there. Anyway, let's try Witcher and see if that works. All right, so I'm playing all these AAA titles at 720p low settings. So that's GTA 5, the PUBG, and this Witcher. Now, <laughs> have a look at this. We're getting nearly 60 FPS. This is Witcher 3. <laughs> Witcher 3, yeah, it's at low settings. It's around 768 because of the resolution. And yes, uh, it's a Mac, so you get those. It stretches it out, which is not ideal in this situation. You can crop it. You can mess with it anyway, but yeah, I'm just trying to test its performance it's 768 so it is a bit stretched out whoa went down to 30 frames then but still look 50 fps there <laughs> to play witcher come on on integrated graphics that is quite amazing and yeah you can get it done you can get it done it's like playing a console um it's perfectly fine it had a frame dip there to about 20 frames, 28 frames per second. Yeah, the 1% lays are going to be like that. Every now and then you're going to get a dip, but this is like really demanding. This is Witcher 3, okay? So GTA 5 was perfectly playable, and I really loved and enjoyed playing GTA 5, and every time I play that game, I get lost, and I stop, like, <laughs> benchmarking. I just keep on playing, just mucking about and that. But, yeah, look, integrated graphics, I'm getting nearly 60 FPS. Come on, what more do you want? MacBook Pro for the win here. Oris Plus, oh, look at that dip. Oh, that wasn't for the win. Yeah, I talked too soon there. But yeah, it's probably a fan curve thing there. Um, I didn't notice any of these dips because you can't hear the fans, by the way. Listen. Yeah, I never noticed any of those sharp dips. Those really, you know, that dip that you just saw then, I didn't see any of those in any of the other AAA titles. So, yeah. What do you want? You can game on it. It's good. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! We're playing 60 FPS GTA 5 MacBook Pro. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Let's get in there. Let's see. Now, yeah, you can hear the fans probably, can you? Actually quite low at the moment. What temperature we got? We got a temperature of 80, <laughs> 80 degrees. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, doing about 50 FPS, 45, 50. Whoa, 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 Nelly. And yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's 60 FPS now, actually. Um, it's like playing a console, like a PS3 or something like that. Maybe in between a PS3 and a PS4 or something like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool that you can play it on, you know, a MacBook Pro. It doesn't have a graphics card, but you can still get an enjoyable game. The enjoyment's here. It's good gaming. It doesn't have to be the best graphics in the world going 100 frames per second. I'm having fun playing this. And you're going to have fun playing this if you get a MacBook Pro. It just shows you how good the Iris Plus graphics are in this. So yeah, enjoyable gaming actually has 1.5 gigabytes of memory. So that is what it is. And we're still getting 60. It depends on the traffic areas. When you go to traffic areas, the FPS always drops. And yeah, what, 54, 55 frames per second. Good enjoyable gaming. And the fans, listen. It's not that loud, man. You compare that to a gaming laptop, oh God, my ears are ringing all the time. Like seriously, you know, gaming laptops, they're great. The power you get in the laptop is just amazing these days, but yeah, they're so loud, your ears ring. And I know you got headphones on, but still, you can still hear it. Um, yeah, unless you've got the sound up you know, really loud, so yeah, this is enjoyable gaming, what more do you want, you're playing GTA 5 and a MacBook Pro, come on, it doesn't get any better than that, portable, yeah, it's good, <laughs> when I get high, get high on speed, all right, so we kick-started the heart here, and um, yes, we can see here, we are playing at the native resolution now, so by 1600p, 
high textures now. High textures, we're getting around 40 FPS. And look, it looks beautiful because it's full resolution here. It's not 1080p or whatever. It's the full native resolution. It's higher resolution, higher than 1080p. This is with the eGPU. So yeah, you can whack on the eGPU, get, you know, obviously a lot better gaming. You know, if I want to get the full 60 FPS, I just got to mess about with it. Uh, maybe go down one resolution step or just mess about with some of the settings. But yeah, whack on an eGPU and it's party time. Now this is actually in Mac OS. Let's see if we can get it working in Windows. Okay, so it's sad time here. Sad time is, yes, unfortunately eGPU not working in Windows. But as you can see, I'm playing in Windows now. Yeah, some good gaming to be had here. I will get into it. I will promise to have a look into it, why it's not working. I have a suspicion maybe it's something to do with security or something like that, because everybody's going and crazy over Thunderbolt security these days. But um, yeah, I'll look into it. I might have to get some, you know, bootcamp drivers from bootcampdriver.com. And if anyone knows how to hook it up with an eGPU on Windows at the moment, please leave a comment down there. But at the moment, no eGPU on Windows. And yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Some good gaming to be had. You can game on your MacBook Pro 13. Awesome. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho. Woo!